I make videos sometimes. I'm out. And then uh, when I'm done, um, this is probably still gonna be too wet, huh? To put, uh, well, I'm gonna put some anchors like here to the pad. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if it, if it moves, it won't move too much. Oh, okay. But eventually, uh, you wanna put some anchors in the concrete. So uh, let it dry. To, to, to hold the, to hold the pad, the yeah. Way. Yeah, so if somebody knocks into it, it won't it won't break the okay, lines I or can something. Pull... Yeah, later, yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna do the ones here to the pad. And then later you can do to the pad to the concrete with like a bracket or metal or something. Okay, yeah, put like one here, one yeah, there, okay. and then two on the other side, so it doesn't it. so it doesn't no shift. Problem. Yeah. So that we we could do it, but the concrete's gonna break, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta let it dry off for a good day. I do it later when it's more stronger. Okay.
Now well, we got a little hole down there, but it's okay. It's a solder. It's the solder, solder fell. It's good for the water. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's in, it's in a spot you won't see too much. There's a little tiny hole I want to cover up. It's probably not leaking, but I don't like it. like to be clean. test it. So we're going to put some uh, nitrogen inside and uh, pressure test it. All right, so we're doing a pressure test now. Um, I put in a new TXV. We had an R22 condenser on a 410A coil. I'm um, just doing our uh, pressure test now and our soapy bubbles here. And uh, we're going to see if we got any leaks. But uh, everything looks pretty good. No bubbles there. Our uh, pressure test still says we passed. So it's looking pretty good so far. Let's check the equalizer tube up here. Let's see that. No bubbles, no bubbles. All right, let's go back out to the condenser. All right. Uh, no soap bubbles out here. It's looking good, Lalo. I don't see any bubbles, nothing. Braze joints look pretty good. All right, let's pull a vacuum. So we're gonna clean up the system now. All right, so we're pulling our vacuum. Got our Appian core tools there with the uh, backup micron gauge, the yellow jacket micron gauge, and our yellow jacket gauges. We've already dropped down to 5,000 microns in one minute. Uh, this is cleaning out good, Lalo. Really? Yeah, really good. There's no leaks, I can tell. All right. We'll see how fast we can pull this vacuum. Wonder if the other one's not reading. Oh, there it goes. Just woke up. The JB pump there, and the torches. Say hi, Max. 
<laughs> I put these on my YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel, yeah. Trying to get it up. It's looking pretty good. Two minutes and we're already down to 1200 microns. It's really good. Alright, we'll come back to it when we get a little closer. We're uh, down to 500 microns in nine minutes. So we pulled a vacuum in nine minutes. You know, I think that's pretty, pretty good. You gotta take the Schrader's out. Got the Schrader's there. Core tool. Appian big hose. I wanna get the true blue hose, but this is what I got for now. Still dropping. 494 microns, nine and a half minutes. That's where we'll cut it, and then we'll check our pressures. Nine minute vacuum. All right, well, we got this thing all charged up. These are the final temperatures. Got about uh, three degrees of sub cool in there. I'm gonna let it run for a bit, but our uh, super heat is about 17 degrees. Pressures is looking okay. It's about 80 degrees, 85 degrees outside right now. Three. Almost got our pressures all dialed in. Unit says uh, 11 degrees of subcooling. We're almost there. Another start job done. Did a condenser change out today. Little pain unit, nothing special. My pipe, pipe's not the greatest, but yeah, it's definitely serviceable. I'm gonna put the line set cover on there and everything from Rubitex, get it all sealed up. You see our sub coolant starting to climb up now, so I'm gonna leave it there, should be good. 18 degrees of superheat, 